Hi everybody, Todd Burchard here at Burchard Galleries, Auctioneers of Antiques and Fine Art in St. Petersburg, Florida. And that's the site right there where the auction app action is gonna happen this Sunday on the 17th at noon. So we have preview by appointment tomorrow from 11 to six. We are going to be uh, exercising the guidelines put to us by the CDC so we're all being careful with the masks and the six foot distancing so I'm trying to be compliant and uh, keep everybody safe so I just wanted to uh, give you an idea of what the gallery is looking like these days go through some highlights and maybe show you some things give you some perspective as to what our catalog looks like when it's not uh, just a photograph but rather you can see it in our gallery. So I think I'm gonna start over here. Even though this isn't the artwork, which is what I specialize in, I thought these swords that came in at the last minute were really neat. And then this, uh, this old crossbow, not something you see every day. Had a selection of old master style paintings all come from the same estate. If you're interested in early antique paintings, we've got several in the sale. There's a Jackie Shindahedi, one of two Jackie Shindahedi paintings. Uh, she's a Florida artist, heavily influenced by Beanie Bacchus, as you can see, with those colors and that style. Another late addition to the sale right there. I'm gonna walk up to it. <clears throat> Hopefully you're not getting dizzy. Yeah, there. Chen Chi, New York City watercolor painting. It's a nice big one. We've sold uh, Chen Chi's work in excess of $10,000. We're hoping this one brings that and much more. Great subject matter. There's another old master painting from the same estate. This is kind of a rare uh, and unique find for us, a John Hare, H-A-R-E, one of two oil paintings we have in the sale by John Hare. Uh, mostly known for watercolors, New England watercolor scenes, coastal and landscape, but this is a one of two oils we have. We have, uh, I think, probably eight or 10 watercolors as well. We've got some more Samuel Baldwin Pratt paintings in the sale. Good number of Florida pictures. This is a Henry Curtis All, San Diego Harbor, 1956. Max Jablonski landscape, and the town that this is of was, um, from what I researched, this is dated 1917, like the movie 1917. So this town that was painted in this picture was one of the towns that was featured in the movie 1917. So I'm not sure if Jablonski was merely just a painter or he was a soldier in the German army or he was a soldier for the Allied forces. Uh, but this was painted the year that the battle, one of the battles took place there at this village. And it is Prenny, P-R-E-N-Y, you can see that. It's this village is built on this mountain if you will that's the Hindenburg line if you want to look that up that's one of the German lines of defense that they retreated to pretty interesting stuff Cecil Chichester. That looks really washed out from the lights, but that's a nice northern scene that will cool you down on a hot summer day. We have a Joe Selby, one of three in the sale. This is attributed to Battleship USS Pensacola. Try to give you a little better there. There's another Pratt picture. I wanted to go here in the middle of the room and show you two more Selby's that we have. This one, you can tell, 
he was definitely influenced by Anthony Timi, who was a prolific and exceptional Rockport school artist, who had painted all over the world, did a lot of Bahamian scenes, Florida scenes, New England, New England scenes. But this closely resembles, resembles a number of pictures that Timi painted. And this is more typical of what Joe Selby is known for painting. He was a self-taught African-American artist, maritime artist, lost a leg in a boating accident. So he's, you can see pictures of him with a peg leg. Pretty interesting guy. But he made his living by painting very affluent businessmen and their boats. This is the motor yacht Minerva. There's a John Hare watercolor right there at the top. Another Chen Chi. This is the Chinese landscape. I found these pictures here to be pretty interesting. We have four paintings by 